Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be installing Linux Lite 4.6. We're first going to start out by going to the Linux Lite website, finding a download for a 64-bit computer. Then we're going to go ahead and install that image on a desktop of our choice. So we'll jump right in, and we'll go to LinuxLiteOS.com. I'm already there. And we will go to the download section. Recent release was just released, 4.6. First, what we'll see here is the requirements. It's asking you to at least have a 1 gigahertz processor with about a gig of RAM and 8 gigs of storage, what type of resolution, and what to put the image on, a DVD drive, USB. So we'll just go ahead and scroll down to look through for the current release. We actually have the current release here, which is Linux Lite 4.6 64-bit which was released today, September 1st of 2019. Uh, we just want to verify again that this is the 64-bit. It says 64-bit. As you can see, it's a 1.4 gig image that we're going to be downloading. If you want to look through multiple mirrors, you can here. The base system that Linux Lite is based off of is Ubuntu 18.04. It even tells you. So we will go ahead and download it now. You can also download it as a torrent. It's actually guiding us to some kind of another site here. Just don't click on anything. Forget all that. Instead, you'll automatically start a download. As you can see up here, it started. And I already have downloaded it earlier, so you can see that there's two images here. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this and clear it out. Once your download finishes, what you're going to do is get a USB stick or a CD DVD that you can put into your computer and then flash the ISO file that you just downloaded for Linux Lite 4.6 by using an app like Balena Etcher or UNet Bootin. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to one of those apps. You can easily use them to flash the ISO onto the USB DVD or CD of your choice and then plug that CD, USB, or DVD into the desktop of your choice. And what you'll be forced to do is change the boot order of your BIOS settings. Every desktop computer has a different way to get in BIOS. Look that up for your specific model. Typical ways are F2, F10, spamming that while you're booting up. And then you'll usually find a tab called boot order in which you can select to move up the boot order chain to boot a USB or CD first. After you've done that and saved your changes, you'll go ahead and boot the system and see something very similar to this, where we will begin our installation. So instead of starting Linux Lite, I want to go ahead and install Linux Lite now. So I'll go down to that, select it. Might take a few moments here to go through some checks. And now we get our first install screen where we're going to select uh, what language we want to install Linux Mint with. I'm going to select English here, continue. This is the keyboard layout again, English. I'm going to use the United States version. And then go ahead and continue. Uh, you can download updates while installing Linux. Since this is the most updated version for now, I'm just going to go ahead and unselect that. You can, of course, keep that. Or if you want to go ahead and install third-party software, graphics, Wi-Fi hardware, go ahead and select this option and hit continue. First thing it's going to ask is on this screen whether you want to erase and install Linux fresh on this disk. This will, of course, delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, and anything else that's located on the current storage. So please make sure and install this on a storage device where, that you will not be using and that you don't care of erasing the contents on. We'll go ahead and hit install now. So it's warning us one more time. Hey look, you're going to go ahead and write changes to the disk. So be careful. Again, if you're absolutely sure that you want to go ahead and erase everything that's already on there. If it's a fresh clean disk, that's great. If not, again, make sure you check. And then if you're positive, go ahead and hit continue. And then next is selecting a time zone. I'm going to select Denver here. So mountain time and hit continue. Uh, Linux light here. I will do 
Savvy Nick for my name, Savvy Nick for my computer, Savvy Nick for the username, and I'm going to choose a password for that new user I'm creating. And I like to be logged in automatically instead of requiring a password to log in. I'll hit continue after this. And now we're beginning to install the base system here. It's going to take a few moments. And once the installation is complete, you'll get a prompt like this where it's telling you that it is and it's ready for it to restart the computer. So go ahead and hit restart now. You'll make sure to remove the boot media and installer like it said right up there. You'll want to make sure that you hit enter in order to confirm that you do want to continue and that you have removed the boot media so you'll remove the USB or CD DVD from the computer and hit enter even if you have those loading bars going across the screen or the little dots uh, sometimes the message gets lost in the background so here we are our new Linux Lite 4.6 install uh, it is very user friendly so it's already guiding you through kind of if you want to install updates or drivers set up restore point install different languages there's other support their online supports very friendly on their forms uh, there's even a hardware database uh, you can also contribute if you'd like uh, we're gonna go ahead and select this show this dialog on startup we'll uncheck that and close this out uh, right now I don't have the proper resolution because I need some tools installed for me, but you probably will have the proper resolution at this point. Uh, and we'll just kind of look around real quick. As you can probably tell right off the bat, it's a very similar layout to Windows. Uh, you have your start menu, and then uh, a nice taskbar here at the bottom. You can switch between different workspaces, and you have your internet connection settings, volume control, and the time. Uh, even the file browser looks very similar to what you have on Windows. This is a Windows-centric distribution and they focus heavily on trying to get people from Windows an easy transition over to Linux. And if you do need that easy transition, Linux Lite 4.6 might be the right distribution for you. Um, I overall really like the feel and look of this distribution. It's very well laid out and easy to use, very similar to Windows, and it gives a lot of support right out the gate for various different Windows applications or applications that are similar to the Windows counterparts. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like comment, subscribe below. I do enjoy going through these installs with you guys, and I hope you do as well. I'll catch you in another video.
Have a good one.